Road to History goes through Brooklyn tonight. Today, President Obama announced he wants Brooklyn U.S. Attorney Loretta Lynch to take over the Justice Department. As TV 1055's Wendy Gillette reports, she would be the first African-American woman to fill the post. Let me uh, introduce to you Ms. Loretta Lynch. President Obama introduced the woman he wants to serve as Attorney General. Loretta doesn't look to make headlines. She looks to make a difference. She's not about splash, she is about substance. Loretta Lynch would take over the job from Eric Holder, who's stepping down. If I have the honor of being confirmed by the Senate, I will wake up every morning with the protection of the American people, my first thought. One of Lynch's most monumental cases was helping to prosecute police officers here at the 70th Precinct in Brooklyn, who were accused of brutalizing a Haitian immigrant. Abner Louima, who was sodomized with a broomstick in a precinct bathroom in 1997, became a national symbol of police brutality. Lynch's nomination comes as the Attorney General's office continues to investigate the police shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. Lynch has also helped prosecute terrorists and corrupt politicians. She has spent years in the trenches as a prosecutor, aggressively fighting terrorism, financial fraud, cybercrime, all while vigorously defending civil rights. Senate confirmation hearings will likely be held next year. If confirmed, Lynch would be the first black female attorney general. Wendy Gillette, TV 1055. If confirmed, Lynch would only be President Obama's second attorney general. Holder has been in the job since the president took office in 2009.